I discovered some very big changes in the new Fallout 76 PTS server, so stick around and find out. One thing I did realize is that those robots at Tester Metal will still kill you in two seconds flat. That has not changed, unfortunately. So the Fallout 76 PTS is live again. I got to play for about an hour and a half, a little less, and let me show you what I have found so far. So first of all, I wanted to go to Foundation and see what was going on with the gold. Just, you know, check to see if we had extra, and we don't. It's still the 400. But then I went to Samuel, and as you can see, there's some new plans in there. We got the cryptid wall display and a couple other things there. Then I decided I'd hop up to Crater and go visit Mortimer, but when I got there, I forgot. I don't know Mortimer yet because I have not repeated that quest line on the PC yet. So Mortimer was not there for me to be able to check this. So hopefully he's got some new plans for us too. While I was wandering around, of course, I went over to the lumber yard. I didn't see any bugs there, so the extermination had happened, but I didn't really see any construction either, so I was a little disappointed in that. I did kind of roam around and try to see if I could find some things, but alas, I could not. However, since we were able to roll legendary weapons that we got from the new events, such as the Holy Fire and the Cryptid Jawbone, I got real curious and was wondering, can we re-roll some of these other legendary weapons? And lo and behold, guess what popped up? Warnful Spin the Wheel. So I participated, of course, just to see what would happen, and I got the Whacker Smacker. Now, unfortunately, I could not re-roll the Whacker Smacker, but when I went in to attempt this, I did notice something awfully, let's say, surprising. I uh, was actually just kind of taken aback by this, so let's get right into it. They have completely separated the stars out. So we have three star legendary weapons. You have your first star, your second star, your third star with your fixed attributes or what have you. And I have a vampire's fixer here. And as you can see, all the stars are actually separated out. Before, they would just kind of be listed as one. Like you have one, two, three legendary at the top for the reroll if you want. Nothing else is there. But you can actually see where they have broken it into three sections. And then on top of that, you have the option to re-roll the entire weapon. Unfortunately, all it is is a visual glitch at this time because it's not live. It has definitely piqued my interest and I am extremely curious at this point. I really wonder, are we going to be able to re-roll these legendary attributes one at a time? Like, if I get a vampire's weapon and that's what I want. Like, I want a vampire's chainsaw, but then I want faster swing speed and now reduced weight. Am I going to be able to roll, like, vampires? I don't like the second and third attributes. So I re-roll the second one. I re-roll the third one. Is that going to be a thing? Is this what's happening? What do you guys think? I am flabbergasted, to say the least. I really never thought that we would get this. I kind of want to know more, but it's not working at this point. I'll let you guys kind of look at the footage, so that way you can decide for yourself. But I definitely tried numerous weapons just to see if this would work, and it did not. So, are you guys excited at the possibility of being able to reroll each attribute? How do you think this will work? Do you think that we'll have to pay more modules for it? Do you think maybe we won't be able to trade these weapons? What do you think will happen? I did not see anything about a fourth or fifth star attribute like they had planned previously, so that was kind of interesting that we're not getting that, but we will be getting, well, hopefully getting the re-rolling of each legendary attribute. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to give me a big Vault Boy thumbs up and nuke that subscribe button on the way out. I really appreciate every single one of you, especially my channel members. You guys are amazing. You're rock stars. You make this all possible. So thank you so very much. I love all you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful night and I will see you in the wasteland. Take care.